any case, the boss wants to see you. Can't wait to hear about all this. The mystery's killing me. I was under the impression you weren't interested, Crowbar. If you couldn't tell, I'm very perceptive. I've just been silently listening. This is what the data says. I am not reading any of that. Crankase. From the energy under care analysis, Cliffjumper was the one who expired the most recently. Unless we missed anyone, Cliffjumper was executed last. Whatever happened to Shadow and Dropkick, we're getting close. And what of your further scans on the system? I was right. Now that we have a closer look, we can tell that one of the planets here harbors intelligent life. It's primitive, but it's sentient life regardless. Interesting. So what's the plan? Get them on our side? No. If Shatter and Dropkick perish there, then it's likely they already forged an alliance. The plan is simple. We analyze their defenses and take the local life forms by surprise. They will then pressure the Autobots to fight back. Once we find them, we shut the rebellion down for good. Even if the Autobots aren't hiding there, the distance is likely close enough for the Autobots to receive an open broadcast from us. There is a good chance they'll jump to the rescue. It's almost too easy. With all due respect, they're cowards, sir. If they had that much bravery, the Decepticon movement wouldn't have been necessary. Not if Optimus Prime is involved. And we have good reason to believe he's had enough time to regroup after his escape. But if they don't, well, then Megatron has another organic planet to cleanse. Right. Sir, you might want to see this. What are you playing with? Oh, this, uh, this is an old party trick. I used to be an artist before the war. Cybertronians used holograms for communication. I used it to make light shows. Pay attention to this side of the planet. How very interesting. Hey, Tarsar, wanna play Fortnite? No, you shut the fuck up! Okay, dude, chill, dude, fucking.